Hi there guys, this is a video of a Technics RS BX828. I've not really found any um, detailed videos on YouTube so I'm going to attempt at making one. Um, so here's the deck, I've been after a high-end Technics cassette deck for quite a while. I wanted a three-head machine uh, with um, direct drive and a dual capstan closed loop system which will explain what that means in a minute if you don't already know. Now I did originally want a Technics RS B965 because that features a DBX noise reduction um, but this deck actually came out after the 965 and it uses the exact same heads and mechanism, the, the transport mechanism um, it doesn't feature DBX however it does have a remote control sensor uh, which is really handy for me because I sit a few meters away from this thing so um, it's really handy, I have a, a Technics uh, amplifier remote and as you can see it's got the tape um, button right there um, so that works fine just like that so that's the deck, it's a uh, really really clean condition I didn't really have to do any repairs to this deck I basically just uh, cleaned the transport uh, any sliding parts I uh, lubricated with uh, white lithium grease and any rotating moving parts uh, I used um, actually I actually used sewing machine oil uh, with a needle, um, such as the uh, capstan bushes, and I, uh, I cleaned the heads just with some alcohol and uh, earbud cleaner things. Uh, I also used that same liquid on the uh, pinch rollers. Um, I didn't film myself servicing this deck because uh, I actually did it like during the night uh, when I couldn't sleep. So, um, <clears throat> but I will add some pictures of the rebuild. Uh, of this deck. I also cleaned all the uh, buttons down here, there's uh, tactile switches uh, on the circuit board, I cleaned all them because they are known to go funny. And I also cleaned all these pots here for the uh, recording level adjustment and stuff like that. So that says this is a three-head machine uh, closed loop dual capstan, I'll just turn it on there. <clears throat> um, so closed loop dual capstan means so on a cheaper lower end, end tape deck you'd have one capstan which is that thing there and one pinch roller and basically that pinches the tape and uh, drags it across the head um, like so with a dual capstan uh, machine uh, there's one at that side as well and what this does is it reduces um, wow and flutter I think it like makes it more stable, it's a lot more stable I think um, the speed of the tape that it's been uh, when it's been pulled across the head um, and the closed loop basically means like they're linked together so behind um, the uh, capstans there's two flywheels, a flywheel on the back of each of one one of them is the direct drive motor and it's linked to the um, other flywheel via a belt drive so it still has a belt in this, um, fortunately that belt's perfect for me but you can still buy them and they're, they're not cheap though, they're about £20 so luckily uh, mine was fine so I'm just going to run through some of the features of this machine. I said it's a direct drive, which means the motor is directly on the back of the flywheel. And there's no belt uh, from the motor to the uh, flywheel on the capstan, although there is a belt to the other capstan, as I explained earlier. Uh, it's quartz speed locked, so it's very accurate speed. Um, some of the features, it's got timer, record and play, pretty standard, uh, track position search. It does that by, it lowers the head quite a bit, but it's still in contact with the tape. It mutes the audio, but the microcontroller is uh, like listening for the uh, gap between the next track, and then it then stops and uh, puts the heads back up, etc. like that, and uh, plays it. So that's quite a good feature. Uh, just got the counter mode and reset there. It's got memory, stop, repeat. It's got the meter range, which I'll show you soon. That's, that's a feature I really like. It's got record cal calibration for uh, setting up your tape, well setting the bias and levels etc um, depending on what kind of tape you use. Uh, it is automatic tape detection this machine so it will record and play back type 1, type 2 and type 4 tapes. It's got AN, what's that, APRS, uh, I think that's uh, like a peak level hold, it, I think it's just like help you uh, while setting up your levels, I'm not too sure I've never used it. It's got the multiplex filter, uh, don't need that, um, that's, well you do need that if you're recording off the radio but I don't intend to do that. And then it's got Dolby noise reduction B and C, no Dolby S on this machine, um, but it's, it's, I don't think it's really needed, it's a really high end machine and 
well when you hear the test recordings you'll you'll see why it's got the monitor which um so basically you can listen to your tape as it's been recorded uh, because it's a three head machine uh, it's got balance there um the levels left and right and the bias uh, just your usual uh, soft touch keys down there uh, so just back to the uh, record calibration um this is a manual calibration deck uh, it's not an automatic one, uh, I think they come out a little bit later. Uh, so on this one, uh, basically it just records a test tone to your tape. And then, uh, as I'll show you, you adjust it with these levels here. Uh, so it's a completely manual process, which I prefer. Um, and I sometimes also make slight adjustments, so I just do this by ear, um, as I'm recording anyway. And, um, and just back to the uh, APRS, I can't remember the abbreviation, but I'll put it in the video. Uh, what that does it it will uh, hold the meter at the peak level so if you feed it with a, an input you will have to play the source from start to finish and basically it'll hold the meter at the maximum uh, so then you can set your level like very precisely to that uh, so that'd be uh, really ideal if you was recording uh, opera or classical which uh, that kind of music normally starts quiet and then gets loud uh, so it'd be handy for that so for this demo I'm going to use these Maxell uh, metal tapes which say CD on them but uh, that CD means nothing don't worry about that um, so they are uh, they, they do claim it's a high quality cassette and I, I do really like them um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play some music from the YouTube audio library uh, which took, took me a while to find a half decent song from there but um, I found one that will do just fine There you go, it detects it's a metal tape straight away. So what I'm going to do now is put the deck into record mode and set the levels and the bias. Um, and then uh, feed it with a source, start recording and uh, use the monitor feature to uh, demo the quality really. So I'll just wait for it to feed some tape in. Uh, I think that's done it now. So that's just turning the levels up with them too. Uh, he's a little bit high. There you go. Uh, now the bias. I normally find with metal tapes, I increase the bias slightly. There, that's somewhere near. Uh, now that's come out of record calibration. That's actually recording now, even though it's not been fed with a source. So what I'm going to do is now feed it with a source uh, from the YouTube audio library. It's a high bit rate, high quality. Uh, track mp3 so should be fine and then I'm going to set the uh, main record level and I'm going to rewind the tape and then start well then start recording <coughs> so with a metal tape you want to you want to drive it quite hard um, I tend to run them up to like uh, six maybe eight decibels and also worth mentioning the Dolby C is on for this recording. And I'm not I'm not going to give uh, demos of uh, Dolby B and Dolby C because the other guys in the other videos do that, so uh, you don't really need to see it over and over again. The differences. So that level is actually quite good where it is actually. I particularly like this feature which uh, changes the uh, range of the meter, it gives you a little bit more accuracy. So I think we're good to go at that really, so I'm going to stop that, rewind it. let it pull some tape across the heads and then we'll uh, monitor it and I may adjust the bias again um, I'd like to test the bias with my ear like hear it as well not just rely on the calibration see with the monitor 
Uh, that's from the laptop, and that's from the tape, what's just been recorded. We'll just play it from the tape only this time.